Welcome back to the channel and today's ready to run RC that's going to be featured is the JJRC Pentium S1. I'm going to unbox this and show you what comes inside. Alright, so here it is. And, uh, well, first off, we got a little instruction manual. Here is the controller. It's a nice. It's a nice looking controller. It has a padded uh, wheel for steering. Uh, it appears that it comes with uh, left and right trim. And let's check the batteries. Of course you need a screwdriver to open the bottom, so I'll be right back. Okay, got the screwdriver. Let's open this up. See how many batteries this takes. It looks like it's gonna take four, just judging by the size of the bottom of the controller here and I'm right four AA batteries is what it requires now I noticed here in the back is a bag that is taped to the packaging and so in this bag it looks like you get a protective nose piece for your boat and there is a USB charger. There's a wrench, so you can, uh, there's another uh, propeller, spare propeller. And well, that's what the wrench is for, to replace that. And it comes with a stand, a little plastic stand. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so here it is. I'm really excited about this boat because this is my first boat. And it, it has a good bit of weight to it. Okay, so. Let's open this up. You can just turn this switch here uh, clockwise or counterclockwise. Either way will unlock it. And then you lift up on the back and it sounds like you break it, but that's just how it is. Let's take this off here. And in here is a 600 milliamp, 7.4 volt battery. This is a water cooled system and what happens is it pulls the water in through this tube and it spirals around the motor and cools it down and then it shoots it out the side. To put the lid back on you have to come in at a real hard angle and snap down like that. Make sure you hear it snap down and then turn the switch so that it is pointing straight up to the top of the boat and that means your cap is locked on. So here's the stand that's included in the box. And after you put it together, set your boat on that and it looks nice. You can put it on a shelf somewhere. So that way it's just not laying somewhere, laying on its side. Now this transmitter is a 2.4 gigahertz transmitter and it also comes with a low battery warning. They claim that you can get up to like 150 meters of range with it. So now that we got this all charged up, let's take it out, get it on the water see how fast this thing is. Okay, here we are with the Pentium S1. I'm gonna open this up. Have to pop this lid off. And we'll go ahead and plug the battery in. There we go. Whoa, was that you? Yeah. Hit it again. Okay, got her all plugged in. So we're gonna put the lid on. We'll put the lid on and uh, grab the controller. Here we go. Yeah, it, it carves through the water pretty nice. It's, it's pretty quick. Wow, it gets right on the side like that one. Look at it. <laughs> I like it. I like it. This is my first boat and I'm happy with it. Wow, almost hit the, hit the rock there. <laughs> Good thing it cuts really hard like that. It seems like the, the trim might be off though. 
let's uh that's the throttle trim st right here it says st trim left let's see if we can get it to turn left a little harder okay it doesn't want to it cuts right real hard though so maybe i have to trim it to the right The left turns aren't so good, but the right turns, it really like cuts. All right, well, let's flip this thing upside down because it has uh, the recovery, like capsize recovery feature. So they claim that if you have it upside down and you just turn the, turn the thing, turn the rudder as hard as you can, it'll, um, <laughs> Obviously that doesn't work. Okay, so so that's not working so well. Hopefully I can get it over to me so so I can flip it back over. All right, good. <laughs> let's uh, let's just keep it on its on the bottom. It moves pretty good. They said it has reverse, but it does not have reverse. I don't want to go too far with it because it's a long swim if I do go out of range. Like I said, left turns, right turns, look at that, it's all the way. <laughs> you can do a real tight 180 right there. So the low battery signal does work when it um, when the battery gets low. This is what it sounds like. So I must say this little thing rips. But uh, I do think that I received a defective boat. As you saw, it does not go in reverse. I like to give you a little sneak peek of the next RC, and that is the WL Toys. 2019. Now this is a 132nd scale. 